Hi guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're tuning into my channel for the first time, hi, my name is Ria and I make content on beauty, fashion and lifestyle. Do take a moment and subscribe to my channel. With that, let's begin today's vlog month video. Now in today's video, I'm going to show you all my top favorite nude lipsticks for the summer season. So summer is right around the corner and for a lot of us, summer has already arrived. And with that, the nude lipstick season is back as well. Though if you ask me, all seasons are nude lipstick season. But I know many of you love to wear nude lipsticks, especially in the summer. So here are my top 10 recommendations for nude lipsticks. I'm going to show you all the 10 swatches and talk a little more about each lipstick. So without any further delay, let's get started with today's video. First of all, let's start with the lip shade that I'm wearing currently. It's one of my most talked about lip shade on this channel and it's the Brush Beauty Plush Matte Lipstick in the shade Height. I can never ever get over this particular lip shade. This is like an MLBB lip shade, my lips but better shade on me. And I know it would be the same for a lot of skin tones, especially if you have pigmented lips like mine. This shade is going to give you your perfect MLBB shade. This is also supposedly a dupe of a very famous lipstick, which is the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk. And even though I do not own Pillow Talk, I absolutely love this one. If Pillow Talk is anywhere near it, I don't mind not having it because this is right up my alley. It's priced at 650 rupees, much, much lesser than the Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk and it's worth every penny. I have been using this consistently for the last year since I ever bought it and I'm going to repurchase it and keep it in my stock because this is my go-to lipstick of all time. Favorite nude lipstick, favorite go-to lipstick. I feel like this is made specially for me even though that's not the case. And if you ask me right now to choose just one favorite from today's list, this is it. I have a bullet lipstick from Nykaa. It's their Nykaa matte lipstick in bullet form and this is the mini version. It's a pretty cute lipstick. So travel friendly. Just look at the size of it. So tiny. It's in the shade M11 or Naughty Nude and it's a perfect brown nude with peach undertones to it. Peach pink undertones to it and it's really really pretty. The formula of it is not exactly matte matte. It's more of a creamy matte. So it glides on really easily and smoothly onto your lips and since it's a creamy matte formula it of course transfers but you can always tackle that with some blotting paper and powder so up next is another lipstick that i've talked about quite a lot on my channel previously and it's the mac matte lipstick in the shade wall wall is a beautiful cool tone brown it's that earthy kind of a brown which is very flattering on fair to medium skin tones this will be a perfect mlbb shade on deeper skin tones and it's just so pretty this has slight hints of mauve in it but it completely depends on your skin tone like on mine the mauviness or the slight pinkiness does not really show up much it's a really true brown on my skin tone which I absolutely love. This is really matte but does not really dry out my lips. I can't really say this is very long lasting. It lasts fairly about 3 to 4 hours and then you have to reapply. That's one problem with MAC lipsticks in general but apart from that the shade is really unique and I absolutely love it. Next up, I have a lip crayon and it's from K-Beauty. It's the K-Beauty Matte Lip Crayon in the shade Playback. This is very pigmented and the application is buttery smooth. Yes, the crayons are really buttery smooth. And it's a retractable crayon, so there's no need of sharpening, which makes it quite convenient to use. I have had another nude shade from this particular range called Papped and I absolutely loved it. That's another true brown, I feel, but I have run out of it and I need to restock it. But for now, I have playback which is a peachy sort of a nude this will look great in itself on fair skin tones but for somebody like me and deeper skin tones this definitely washes me out when i have no other makeup and i just want to put on a lipstick i can't really wear this just in itself i got to layer this up with the lip liner or have some makeup on but it's a really pretty nude shade and if you're around my skin tone definitely try it out with a lip liner this is a very pretty shade and if you're somebody who's fairer than i am then you can use it just in itself and it's a pretty bomb shade 
it. So you see this washes me out even with some makeup on. If I did some smoky eyes today this would look perfectly well with that but not with the current makeup that I have on but I definitely love wearing it with a darker lip liner like this. Next up is one lipstick I have been wearing from my college days which is about 7-8 years back and it's the Lakme Weightless Mousse Matte Lipstick. The shade is called Coffee Light and it's again a brown but with peachy undertones to it. The formula of it is so different from so many other lipsticks that I currently use. This comes in a moussey kind of a formula and this particular bottle I have almost used it to the T but it's still there like right now I have it on my lips. This is again a brown nude with more rather very pinky undertones to it and it does flatter all kind of skin tone doesn't matter if your skin tone falls under the category of light medium or deep this will flatter across all skin tones it's such a pretty shade for everyday wear for office wear for college wear and when you apply it on your lips it literally feels like you have nothing on the weightless word in his branding is so apt because it does really feel like that and you can also apply it on your cheeks because this is a dual product I think they have even changed the packaging now I have the older packaging but this is definitely a bomb option in the affordable range. Okay, so next up I have another liquid lipstick. It's from Nykaa and it's their liquid matte lipstick. Not the biggest fan of this formula. The texture is quite watery and runny but you have to apply it a few times on your lips for the pigment to show and the formula is also a little too drying but I really like the shade. The shade is called Chumki and this too can be a perfect MLBB shade for most Indian skin tones. It's a really earthy brown toned lipstick and it looks really pretty on. Like I mentioned the formula is quite drying so it's recommended to use a lip balm underneath like you can see it still looks shiny because it does take time to settle down to matte Next up I have another shade which might wash out a lot of Indian skin tones like medium to darker skin tones it might wash out if you wear it on its own but it's such a pretty shade that I could not leave it out. In fact I'm wearing this particular lip shade in my vlog month intro video and it looks so pretty. This lip crayon is from Faces Canada and it's in the shade Cashmere. It's a very pretty peachy nude and most of it is almost over even though it washes me out when I wear it on its own I still have used so much of this lip crayon. So you can understand how much I love this shade. To be honest, I love wearing this shade when I have some makeup on. This looks great with nude makeup as well and with smoky eyes, ah, oh, so so amazing. But if you're somebody with a lighter skin tone than mine, you can wear it on its own and it will be a perfect peach nude shade for you. One drawback of this lip crayon is that this is not a retractable pencil. You have to sharpen this but it's fine. The formula is quite nice and creamy and glides on easily to your lips. Not too drying as well and the shade range in this particular lip crayon is also really nice. Next up I have a true pink nude and it's the MAC matte lipstick in the shade Meher. So Meher is a dirty pink rose kind of a shade. This shade too might wash out deeper skin tones but again there's a lip liner for that. So you can work it with a lip liner and it will do amazingly well. If you're somewhere around my skin tone or lighter then this is a beautiful shade on its own. And the formula of this is quite comfortable on the lips but it does not last that long. It will last you around 3-4 to four hours and then you have to go ahead and reapply but otherwise this is a really unique shade and it does suit across a lot of skin tones. So we have only two more lipsticks to go and the penultimate one is from Gush Beauty. It's their play paint liquid lipstick range and this particular shade is called Mosaic Peace. It's a terracotta nude which might look darker on a lot of skin tones. Even on my skin tone it does look a little dark but this too falls under the nude category. It falls under those darker nude categories and if you're somebody with a deeper skin tone than mine this is going to look so bomb on you. But nevertheless I love the shade on myself. On days when I want to have a bolder lip look I go for this one because it's such a unique pretty shade and Gush Beauty's formula in liquid lipstick is so amazing. Generally liquid lipsticks tend to be on the drier side but this one does not really dry out my lips and is very long lasting. So definitely try this one out. Not the least.
least I have a gloss option for you which is not entirely a gloss. Yes, it's very long lasting yet gives you that glossy finish. And I'm talking about the Maybelline Vinyl Ink Liquid Lipstick. It's in the shade Irresistible and my god this lipstick lasts. I have no idea how Maybelline managed to achieve this formula in a gloss format. Glosses generally do not last even half an hour, 45 minutes. But this one lasts throughout the day. I have tested this for over 15 hours with meals and drinks in between and this stayed intact on my lips. Of course it faded a little from the inner mouth but otherwise this really stays put. So if you like your lipsticks to be that long lasting you should definitely try the vinyl link liquid lipstick from Maybelline not necessarily this shade you can try out the other shades but this is a really pretty nude which will suit across all Indian skin tones the trick with this lipstick is that you always have to shake it well before using so the first few times I used it I did it wrong I used it as it is but then later on I got to know that you have to shake it well every time before you use it because there's a lot of oils mixed with this lipstick and since the texture is quite watery the oil tends to settle down so in order to mix it all well you need to shake it well as well this shade is a brownie shade with hints of mauve to it but it's mostly on the browner side like clearly I'm a brown lipstick lover if you cannot tell already but yeah this is a gloss in a liquid lipstick format which will last you hours so if you like that kind of a finish in your lipstick definitely try this one out So that's it for this video guys. I hope you enjoyed watching. All the product links will be mentioned in the description box below. Do let me know in the comments which shade was your favorite. If you liked watching this video, do not forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'll see you soon in my next vlog month video. Until then, take care, keep smiling. Bye!